held in for the moment, but tomorrow we're going to really fasten them up. And so this actually makes life a little bit easier to wrap stuff. Uh Jeez. YouTube was good. Welcome back to another video, man. We're here back on the grind for the center console. We gotta slide out and buy a couple things, but we have a guest. Junior in the back. Say what's up, man. What's up? He's coming along today because we're gonna go buy some stuff. And I'm gonna try to teach him throughout the day, man, a couple little things on this car audio stuff. So maybe later on in his life he can, you know, work on some cars. Uh, I do have my son, which is his brother. Maybe they can both work on some cars together. So it's kind of good to teach them, you know, right now as they're young, like I, like I got taught, you know what I'm saying, and, you know, developed, you know, a few little skills here and there. But if you're new to the channel, man, go ahead and subscribe, man. We do awesome car audio builds. Uh, man, we're going to start getting into more little stuff here and there. Uh, man, making good connections through this YouTube journey, man. So stay tuned, man. And for right now, we're going to get back on the road. So this morning I was just browsing around the internet and um, I guess there's a show called Lifted Trucks of Florida. Well, they're actually having a car audio um, like sound off thing going on as well in Plant City and where they have the Strawberry Festival at. And we will be attending that. It is, I think, September 17th. And we're gonna have the white OBS truck out there with the 412s in it. And I'm gonna really get on the ball with my truck and have it ready so we can at least be out there jamming so the goal is to have like the 412s cut through the bed jamming two front doors playing uh maybe the center console and some front grill speakers so that thing is like banging i don't promise to have the back done because the back's gonna take quite a bit but the 412s and the door panels is doable and you best believe that we're gonna be out there jamming september 17th man regardless so man, stay tuned definitely uh, subscribe to the channel man because some videos are gonna be lit and it's gonna be our first event that we're actually gonna attend with the Silverado build and just, you know, with the whole Mousetrap YouTube name out there getting it, man. So make sure you guys pull up to that event if you are in the surrounding areas, man. And hopefully um, I can link up with some people, do some networking, man, and to help our channel expand. You see what I'm saying? That's the whole goal with these type of events, man, is just to like expand the channel. So for that, man, let's get back to going to these uh, hardware stores. This is the truck that I actually want right here. Exactly like this. If it's a step side, it's straight, but if not, man, this guy will do. Like, man, this is like my all time favorite truck. So I would leave it black with some uh, probably like 20 inch uh, gold Dayton's, like spoke wire wheels. And man, I'd do just like 215s or 212s inside it and put some airbags, and that thing's badass. What do you think, man? So we get, I, I like that truck. Look, that was my first truck I ever had, the S10, man. I, I want one so bad. We're gonna bring one to the channel. But first stop of the day, man, is Harbor Freight. I'm actually coming here because, man, every time I do uh, like uh, wrap panels and stuff like that, I always forget to clean the spray glue guns and they get clogged up with all that glue. And we need some razor blades. So let's get inside real quick. All right, so here you can actually get all the badass stuff. Look, hold on, which was this one? The gravity fee. Look, 10 bucks. Look, that's really a badass deal. We're gonna get that guy. Yeah, 10 bucks, guys. Harbor Freights. Man, this gun is awesome, but I always get it clogged up. I'm gonna take care of this one, I promise. Probably not. So now we're gonna get some razor blades. Look, and you see they have paintbrushes and everything for all doing the fiberglass and stuff like that. But for right now, we need razor blades. Let's see if we can find 
So we are currently looking for razor blades. They're hiding somewhere. We're gonna get them real quick. All right, we found them, guys. Razor blade box. Uh, but I think we're just gonna get this guy right here because we're not gonna take that many. So let's get it. Only one dollar. Yeah. So I think we pretty much got everything, right? All right, let's get it. Time is money, guys. Time is money. The other day, ten dollars for a spray glue gun, man. You can't go wrong. We, I think we ended up spending like eleven dollars on everything, and uh, but I'm gonna take care of this glue gun. Hopefully, don't don't hold me to that, guys. But now, next stop is Home Depot. Uh, we're at Home Depot once again, man. We spend so much time here; it's ridiculous, but man, we love it. This is what we work for. I'm trying to teach this little guy right here. This is gonna be his favorite store when he gets older. All right, so here. We just need like a small, probably like a 2x4 of MDF so we can do the side panel. Three quarters of course. So let's see if they got Two for right here. Bam. So with a secure, okay now we need to look for some one inch screws, drywalls. Let's see if we can just pick some ones up so we don't have to go to the hardware store. Let's see, let's see. And we need one inch screws because uh, we're gonna sandwich the uh, side panels in inside the box so you don't see no exposed screws. So we um, can put it together at the end. But I don't think they have any drywalls. I'm actually gonna come back to Home Depot probably sometimes this weekend and I'm gonna build my son a like badass little like toy house for him. So stay tuned for that video, man. It's gonna be lit. And a two door and it's a stop sign man i want one so bad man that was like my first truck so i i want to bring it back to life but like i said i want an all black one just like the one we just seen and then i want to put some like 20 inch gold daytons with like the hex or diamond uh, center on it put two 15s in it do some badass door panels um and probably airbag it man because I, I love the mini trucks man i'm not even gonna lie to you um but man hopefully soon hopefully soon we're gonna get that guy all right so we just picked up some washers and a box of inch and a quarter inch drywall screws and little man actually got some cookies just because he told the lady he's been behaving all day so we made it back to the house and what a hot day guys already but I really shouldn't even be drinking coke but man I'm just man I love coke the Pepsi let me down the other day. You see, it was unopened and there was nothing inside it. Really sad. But anyways, now back to the matters at hand. So, this portion of the console, we are gonna call it done. But we still need to go ahead and, so like right here, and like right here, we're gonna put uh, a six inch uh, speaker and then we're gonna put a tweeter. But we're gonna do like a quick cool little cutout just so um, you know just to give it a extra little pizzazz you know what I'm saying um, this area I was gonna do some stuff but this actually sits below the actual seat and I didn't really want to make the console that high up because I didn't want the speakers to look very gaudy like sitting up like bulky um, so it sits at good height um, it should look pretty awesome I'm actually really excited to see what it looks like our side piece that our, was our template and it did change from what it was because it was um, a long point but now it's just like a straight point so i'm going to actually measure from bottom to top uh put the straight edge on it trace that line out and then we're going to come back and we're gonna um with the other piece of wood that we actually got today we're going to router it out and then we're going to draw our cool little design up and then we're going to cut it out and then we're gonna router it out with the fan router bit to give us like a nice like angled out uh, router edge on the border of the console and around it so it gives it like that extra professional look man like i always say we can build some badass stuff at the house you know what i'm saying there's no questions about that so i got everything pretty much all set up ready to rock and roll brought my tools and like i said um we don't have much work it is still some work, but it's not as crazy. Um, so, ain't nothing to do, but just get on it. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so you see real quick. So, 
uh, so you guys can get a better idea of what I've been talking about. So we stretch vinyl over here, we vinyl the top of it, and we bring the vinyl down, and then we staple it below. And this piece gets vinyled separate, and it comes in there, and it does the beauty panel, what it's supposed to do. You see what I'm saying? And now, it, it goes together as one. But we're going to router it, so it looks fantastic. Guys. All right, I hope you guys can see my scribble scrabble. But basically, we have a little cutout that we got going on. And we're going to cut it out with the jigsaw. But it's, you know, it's nothing too crazy, but it's nothing too simple. Um, I think it'll add a little bit of pizzazz to it. Um, so we'll just like end up wrapping, um, we'll DA, DA this real quick um, after we get done uh, cutting the holes out. Uh, so the speakers come out on here, but we'll lay a piece of vinyl so it, you can see it. You see what I'm saying? It, it should look pretty good. I, I, I'm kind of feeling it. We have to scoot the tweeter a little bit above the six, but not too far back because we still got to take in consideration our EQ mount that's right there. So it, it, it cannot have no foul play. Look at the EQ mount, man, that's gonna look dope. Uh, so there's like a little gap, but once after we um, vinyl it, we're just gonna cut a small slit in it so it'll slide in and the thickness of the vinyl will help it, you know, clear up those gaps and actually give it a real more snug fit. So flush router bit, ready to rock and roll. And we have our piece that we need to get routed out on the bottom. And on top is the new piece. And like I always do with the big boy router bit, uh, just cut out um, the excess on it that we don't need. Um, so it has an even flow and same thing on the outside. So it gives us a perfect uh, routed out piece when it's done. So let me go ahead and plug this guy in and get her done. Both of the sides cut out the, um, the side panels. You see, this one's right here, cut out. So the next thing that we are gonna actually do is basically from here, follow that line up here. We are gonna router it out with the fan. I think that's what it's called, the fan uh, router bit. It's like, it drops an angle. And we're gonna drop an angle on, on here as well too because we wanted to give, you know, an extra little pizzazz look. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and trace the six on this side, just how it is on that side. Then I gotta cut it out with the tweeter as well. So everything's ready to rock and roll. Um, so we don't really have to do no extra work come tomorrow. So tomorrow is just basically putting the EQ in and uh, the speakers. It's, as soon as you start doing stuff like this, the pieces of the puzzle together, uh, that's when it starts coming to life. You see what I'm saying? Um, like we still gotta like DA that so you don't see it. Stuff like that, but man, what a console. Coming out good. So then right here, we're gonna wrap it up to right here to this line. And then we're gonna make a plate going from uh, side to side and put a nice router edge on it so it looks like dead perfect, guys. Let me know what you guys think. After this thing's all vinyled up and everything, man, it's gonna be a whole different console. Okay, speakers are traced on the console. And I put the router bit that we need to give us our angle. But I'm gonna do a trial piece because where the cutout for the speakers, I just want a small subtle angle. I'm not looking for a deep angle. The deep angle is going to go on the top of the outer lip, but not where the speaker placement is. So let me do a quick test fit or test uh, router and then we'll see what it does. So that's the, the lip that it gave us, but I'm actually looking for something a little bit more deeper. So let's drop it down a tad bit. All right, so this is what we're actually looking for to give us a nice angled pitch. So right now we're gonna carefully router out these pieces because we don't want them to get ruined. We just want a nice uh, router edge for them. So let's get it. Gang, 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 gang. All right, gang, real quick, man. Your boy is a little bit sad because I honestly thought that I had um, upholstery glue which is like the real fire glue that I used to wrap my panels in and it turns out it's nowhere to be found I don't know if it got thrown away um, it went bad uh, the, whatever the situation is um, unfortunately we won't be able to um, wrap the console today I'm, I'm really really hurt about that I'm not even going to lie to you guys um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually get done doing all the little small details of the console and uh... Oh man, I'm 
end of the console and um, put it together so uh, it is ready to uh, get put on get wrapped first thing in the morning tomorrow see what I'm saying I am uh, really uh, sad that it is not I do not have the glue see what I'm saying like it really does make me sad but what can you do I mean I'm not gonna sit here and cry about it so the next best thing for me to do is just to assemble it and that's what I'm gonna do right now guys, hold on. so this is the finished product right here I still gotta like grind it down a little bit but for the most part you see we got our routered edges side panels so you'll never see the sides I do got screws inside here you see um, just held in for the moment but tomorrow we're gonna really fasten them up and so this actually makes life a little bit easier to wrap stuff uh, you don't have to complete your head like trying to wrap it same thing over here it's gonna go very easy to wrap panels look amazing uh, we put the router edges on everything man it looks all together as one guys like this is good stuff right here honestly this console's worth like a thousand dollars for as much as work that we put into it it is definitely worth the thousand dollars like i mean but you see it it's it's it looks good you know i can't be any more happier with it speakers everything fit inside here it's gonna look really badass Shit. man i can't wait let me know in the comments uh what you guys think Sadly, man, we, uh, man, I'm gonna have to wake up really early tomorrow, like around like seven o'clock in the morning and really try to see if not, if I can find this glue. If not, I'm gonna have to order it first thing in the morning. The place opens up at nine o'clock. So if I can honestly place an order probably right now and be ready for pickup in the morning, that'd be awesome. Um, if not, I'm gonna have to wait o'clock, wait nine o'clock, order it, and then probably be there by like 10.30, pick it up, come back, by noon, the panel is wrapped, everything ready to rock and roll. And then I, it's just four speakers and a couple wires. And even if I have to work until five o'clock to get it done, it will get done tomorrow because he has to be at that little truck meet Saturday. We still got like three days, but you know, I want to get it done because Friday I got to cut hair and stuff like that. So, um, man, that's it for today, man. Let me know what you guys think. Doing the detail work, man, took quite a bit of time. I'm trying to figure out speaker placement, uh, the little design. Uh, cutting the pieces out make sure everything fits aligns really good any last touches on the console itself like the detail work is what's really um, time consuming but for the most of it man it is complete it is ready to wrap so tomorrow's definitely uh, stay tuned for tomorrow's video because we're gonna wrap it and put it in and he's gonna be writing out jamming man so we'll see what happens tomorrow man but for right now we are out